This is the new gun which we have developed. It is called Dhanush. As you can see, the barrel is 155 millimeter bore size and 45 caliber. It has got a double baffle muzzle brake and uh, the complete uh, structure for mounting this barrel including the barrel itself it has been manufactured in-house in the ordnance factories uh, the gun system has been totally changed from what it used to be at the initial times it has got an electronic suit for complete uh, fire control and laying it has got uh, a new uh, loading system it has got it, it, the capability to load BMCS uh, ammunition also. Uh, as you can see, almost 80% of the complete gun is indigenous, manufactured in-house by ordnance factories with some support of private sector industries. If you really go back into the history, the complete TOT documents came to us 25 years back. Even the documents were not complete at the time because uh, the complete technology transfer could not take place. We had been given the documents. Those documents also were not upgraded to the uh, final uh, manufacturing processes. So we had to completely evolve the manufacturing stage by stage. Uh, gun barrel itself, we had developed some 10 years back. We have proved it. The technology did remain that of uh, original buffers. But the 45 caliber that we have developed now, it has been designed completely by us. Depending on the uh, uh, total uh, load forces that are coming, uh, based on that, the muzzle brake also has been completely redesigned. In this gun system, the cradle which is supposed to mount the barrel, the recoil, the uh, elevating gears, the traversing gears, everything has been completely redesigned. It is entirely different from the original buffers in the sense that uh, it can house and uh, a, a bigger barrel so the center of mass is different the trunians have been relocated those actions have been done so that is a completely indigenous effort which has been and the main challenge which we faced was the proving trials having designed something unless you are able to fire the gun and prove that has been a major challenge like i told you this barrel system was manufactured and fired initially by our own people some seven years back but thereafter the usual trial could not take place so that has been possible in the last one and a half years with the active cooperation of the users that is indian army and we have been able to fire, uh, this is the fifth uh, gun that you are seeing. We have already manufactured five of them and all the fire, five has fired successfully. The uh, uh, fifth gun, that is uh, the uh, gun prior to this, it has already fired some 156 rounds in the last one and a half months. So to that extent, it has been practically and physically uh, tried out and successfully proved. As of now, the guns are uh, in various stages of trials. Uh, uh, it is now firing at uh, uh, sub-zero temperatures uh, and it has uh, fired successfully for last uh, few days. So uh, uh, it may take maybe, if you ask me optimistically, next six months is the time frame. We in India, our gun systems are required to be deployed at different locations. In army, a desert where the temperatures may go up to 45 degrees centigrade. In the uh, mountainous terrain where the temperatures can down, go down to maybe minus 30 degrees centigrade. And any gun system which is inducted in Indian army, it has to undergo all these tests and the same gun has to be thereafter evaluated from quality angle, consistency angle, reliability angle, maintainability angle. So all these tests, when it, they have been thoroughly and successfully gone through, then only a gun system is sub said to be uh, approved and inducted into the, uh, that system. The processes are on. We have already gone through certain stages. We expect that next to six to eight months, we should be in a position to get it approved by the concerned agencies. In 
any gun system for that matter if you manufacture uh, a fresh you have uh, uh, got to have certain uh, obstacles we have passed through that that was the gun number four the gun number five has already been manufactured and firing six is here at display with you seventh gun probably will be ready in the next month it wasn't really with the gun system the problem lied is elsewhere a detailed analysis and fault finding is still going on. The final reports are to be submitted. We have got a capacity to manufacture at least one gun per month. As of now, in the next one and a half years, probably we will be tripling this capacity. It has been firing live for last almost one year or you can say more than one year it, the first time it fired was in december 2011 and thereafter it has undergone several firing trials in uh, desert terrain at a temperature of uh, 45 degrees centigrade uh, it is now firing at a temperature of minus 15 degrees centigrade so uh, we have fired if, if you take uh, a cumulative figure it may be exceeding 1000 rounds in the last one year.